morning, everyone. It's Henry. Boys and boys. A little bit warmer day today. Yesterday, as you know, I uh, went to my buddy Larry and Bobby's house to go pick up a deck that he said that he had. When I got there, the deck was, I mean, in, in a smidgen better shape than the one that I took off the LT2000, right? But no matter what, you gotta start from something, right? I have no deck whatsoever. And you know, it might be interesting to try to repair this deck, you know? Uh, he gave me this bar of uh, pretty heavy gauge steel that I'm gonna, that looks like it'll fit right over the front lip area where it's all rusted out, you know? And you know, worst comes to worst, I practice a little bit of welding skills, you know? Uh, see if I can get this deck refurbished, you know? So that it's suitable enough and safe enough to put on the uh, LT2000 then that thing will be a uh, working lawn tractor. If not, I'll strip it for parts and uh, we'll keep looking for a deck, you know, no big deal. Uh, I will admit, guys, that I'm a little bit overwhelmed because uh, I do have nine push mowers now. After I visited Larry and Bobby, they gave me two, two more um, push mowers that I have to fix. So my garage is completely packed. Not to mention the fact that I also he also gave me uh, three blown engines, which I need to strip down and keep the good parts for maybe a future engine rebuild. But uh, I have to unload all that stuff from my van and then try to fit it in my garage, which is completely packed full of stuff, you know? So that's gonna be kind of challenging. Um, something kind of interesting happened yesterday when I was making the video for, uh, for the, yesterday's video. There was a period of time where Larry actually went and um, was showing a tractor to this guy, right? And at the same time, Bobby and I were just sitting there watching from on top of the hill, you know? And then I, um, I left the camera rolling, not knowing it. And so I uh, recorded about 15 minutes of <laughs> Larry, Bobby, and I, just the three of us sitting there talking crap, you know, real raw conversation. And then at the end of the day, I was looking it over and I'm like, hmm, hey Larry, look, <laughs> we have a 15 minute conversation of us just bullshitting, right? Should I just erase it? And then it's like, uh, I don't know, maybe some of my hardcore viewers would like to just watch like 15 minutes of just like raw conversation about three guys talking about shit, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I uploaded it last night onto Hank the Asian Rednecks channel. Uh, you can find his uh, link down in every description of my video. And uh, go and follow Hank the Asian Redneck on YouTube. Uh, he has about 162 uh, subscribers now. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting video. I know some of my uh, hardcore subscribers already watched it last night and uh, said it was good. Uh, anyway, so uh, shout out to Dwight Green from Akron, Ohio who bought uh, another bunch of stickers. He always, he's a flipper like me, so every time he finishes with a uh, machine, right, he'll stick one of my stickers on there to help spread the word. So thank you very much, Dwight, for continuing uh, purchasing my stickers and uh, for helping me get the name out there to um, help mowers and blowers out. Um, I really appreciate it, that's very cool, you know. Uh, also, shout out to Charles Cribs from Vidalia, Georgia. I think this might be my first sticker sale from the state of Georgia. Peaches, Jimmy Carter, Falcons? Anyway, he bought the last of my four holographic stickers of the original design. So thank you very much for doing that and supporting the channel. Keep the videos coming every day, buy a sticker. Speaking of stickers, I told you that I had two different kinds of new style stickers that have come out. And uh, I got a deal too, so I can still keep the prices the same. The other deals before, I waited so long because had I taken those deals, I would have had to raise my prices, otherwise I wouldn't make any money. You know what I mean? Not, I mean, not even 50 cents, you know? So what would be the point other than getting the stickers out? But you know, you gotta think of it as trying to support the channel too, right? So anyway, I got the deal. So I've got a load of the two new sticker designs coming out and the test batch came today. 
I'm gonna show it to you. I'm not gonna. I mutter! Are you guys ready for the new sticker design? I've decided that the holographic is by far the best looking kind. So here it is. Here is my new sticker design. What? That's right. You've got the American flag in the background, right? With the Punisher skull in the front of the flag. You got the mowers and blowers on the top, and you got Donsky on there! YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and eBay. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that sticker. Crazy, right? Available on my eBay right now. Check the uh, bottom of the description where I have links to all my stickers and you can buy them on eBay or just go to eBay and search mowers blower sticker and you'll find the holographic Dunsky sticker keeping the price at five dollars even and uh, help support your channel your channel being mowers and blowers your favorite channel is what I mean buy a sticker so I've got no choice I have to clean out my garage because I've, I've got just so much stuff coming in, right? And I don't like to leave my lawnmowers outside in the rain, but at this point, you know, it, it's all about space. So I'm going to move these five out to the back. As you know, the two Toros from the seven uh, free Motherload 27 pick is in the back already. Those are two, those two are ready to go. They're fixed. Uh, I made a air cleaner cover on top there and uh, shout out to D Fields who's a longtime subscriber of mine, who told me that um, the cover with the two tabs that are close together on that uh, XT675, that's a recalled cover, which is the reason why you can't buy that uh, cover anymore. Uh, Larry's Toro recycler that he picked yesterday, that we saw yesterday's video, in yesterday's video, uh, he had that same one. So actually, what I tried to do is I tried to contact Kohler last night myself by writing an email telling him that I have that mower with the recalled air filter base and air cover right and then hopefully they'll send me the new kit you know which is the cover that has the spread out tabs the four tabs instead of the three tab cover you know so we'll see what happens there if i get a new kit from kohler that's all thanks to you d fields thank you uh anyhow so i'm gonna go unload my van now i've got those three um engines blown engines that are a mess because there's like um, oil everywhere and honestly you just don't want to go and touch that right but it's going to stay in my van if I don't right and I've got uh, two mowers in here too which I'm going to park in the back I mean I've just got so much to do that it's it's completely overwhelming you know what I mean but uh, I know a lot of other people would wish that they had my kind of problems you know what I mean um, I actually have too much to do you know So we'll go work on that deck later.
Hey, so uh, I've been at this for a bit, as you saw. I managed to get the blade spinning. The brake is on, but both spindles and the blades actually do spin and they look like they're okay. As you can see, there are little tiny holes in areas. But if you bang it, it's still pretty solid most of the places. So it's bad, but it's not, you know, that bad. I've seen worse. So I got this plate that Larry gave me. I bent it to shape. I cut a slit there so that it would fit over this. That's right, I have a BS in welding. That's not Bachelor of Science, rather, I have a bullshit in welding. You get better every time you do it, and at the very least, it's a learning experience for me on practicing welding, right? Um, the part over here was just Dunsky. I mean, I tried to salvage it, but I just couldn't do it. It was just... It was so um, weak and rusted that this part just came off, you know what I mean? So I was going to give up because I didn't have this area here, you know what I mean? And it doesn't give it that support, it might flex. As you see, I took clamps and I clamped at this uh, plate over here. And over here, it's so rusted and thin, right, that when you try to weld it, it creates more holes. See? So I was going to give up then, then and there, and then I remembered I had this thing. I've been using this thing to patch up some decks here and there, right? It uh, used to be one of those dome fans for the roof or an attic or something like that. But then I looked at this part here, and I, and I thought to myself, hmm, that would make a uh, support bracket, you know, for that. And it actually <laughs> looks like it fits okay. Plus it gives me more sheet metal to make it stronger. So I'm going to reluctantly continue on and see what I come up with, you know? Maybe I can get this to where it needs to be. Maybe.
So there it is. I think I've had just about enough fun for one day. Uh, I'm not finished yet. I went around it, scraped a little bit, grinded a little bit. But honestly, what is that going to do, right? This deck sucks. But I guess it's still functional. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I want to show you something else. Uh, because this tractor is so nice, I would be diminishing the value of it by putting this deck on it. Would you agree? It's like, wow, that's a nice tractor, but you've got deck issues. Therefore, people are going to lowball you big time for the value of that. So I'm not going to put this deck onto that tractor because it would be doing that tractor an injustice and I wouldn't get as much money for it. So I'm still going to keep this deck. Uh, maybe for that thing, you know, you never know. Uh, I just basically said to myself that this is a lost cause for sure, but uh, I used it to practice my welding, you know, and you always need to practice. Um, I never listen to my subscribers. They all tell me, Henry, got to put some shoes on. Well, I burnt a hole, two holes in my feet. I never learned, but you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is how I'm comfortable working, and uh, if I get a couple of battle scars, so be it. Anyhow, that tractor, as well as that tractor, have the cable PTO engagement. This is a rod engagement, okay? Uh, I took the rod off of this thing already. Um, there it is right here. So this is the rod system, right? where this attaches to a thing on the top of the tractor. You guys get the picture, it goes in there. And uh, when you move it, it moves like that. So because mine is a cable one, it actually could fit in here, but you have to get the wire through there. So I'm gonna cut a slit right there so I can get the wire in and that back of the cable. Then the spring with a hook is supposed to connect to this pulley over here. This is the tensioner, the tensioner arm pulley. So it's ha it has to have a longer stud that comes out like that high with a hole in it that you put a pin through so that you hook the cable onto here. So I have to go to my bag of parts in the back and see if I can find that long stud with a hole in it. And that way I could hook the cable with the spring onto there. But right now I'm gonna cut that. So I'm gonna cut a slit on the bottom, of, on the top of this part here, the higher part, so the cable won't slip out. This way the cable can go in here, you can slip the wire through that slit that I just cut, and it'll go over here. I'm gonna go find that um, stud now. But first I'm gonna take this 9 nut off of this pulley. <laughs> Easy for you to say, Henry. To be continued. Can you believe that? I had to get a breaker bar. So this pulley comes off like that. How am I going to get this off? Unless I have to take this whole assembly off. So, I have to find a bolt that's much longer than this, that has a hole in it, so that I can hook that on. I'm gonna go look for it right now. So 
So because I save all my parts, I had an entire assembly right there that was exactly the same as that from another LT1000. So as you can see, I switched this assembly for that one. It was easier. Now, as you can see, I greased this area. So now it fully moves easily. So that cable is going to run from there to there. And when I engage the handle, it'll pull this, tighten the belt, and engage. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm actually going to paint this black so that it looks a little better, right? And I'm actually going to install it onto that just to see if it works. I found a belt over there. I'm not sure if it'll fit, but I'll try it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint this black. 98 cent quick color. paint the dry <laughs> clean up a little bit and uh, put all those mowers in the backyard I got no choice you know what I mean and then I took a look at my phone I haven't looked at it all day and uh, Quinn actually texted me about an hour ago telling me that there's a push mower old about a couple blocks away let's go check out and see uh, I need another lawnmower like I need a hole in my head right but uh, hey you can always use parts you know and if it's free I'll always go and pick it up, uh, thanks to Quinn the Mailman. Let's see if it hasn't been picked up already. Uh, it's been an hour. It's a lawn boy. How about that? Cool. Let's check this out. Lawn boy with the quantum. Hey, gas cap, dipstick, spark plug, muffler, air cleaner, air cleaner base, air cleaner cover, wheels, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Quantum engine, like I said. Got a little bit of gas in it, however, it looks like it, it might be a mix, I don't know. Uh, it is rear self-propelled, but cable seems to be too long. Top bell handle works good, smooth too. Should I give it a rip? Tater chip? Auto choke. about that huh found it on the street perfectly good quantum engine <laughs> I'm gonna take the engine off and repurpose it score 
Okay, the paint is somewhat dry. Uh, it's not like I'm not dirty enough, anyway. So, uh, I found a belt. I'm not sure if it's the right one, but it looks like it'll fit. Um, everything's pretty loose. And actually, it looks, you know, from far away, it looks okay. So I'm just gonna try to put this on. As you guys saw, uh, I was missing these things, the uh, front uh, lift hanger rods, and uh, I have plenty, so I went back there to get them, and after I put them on, uh, I realized that the belt was just too long, you know? So I went to the back again, you had to disconnect that lever again for the PTO, and one of the hangers to get the belt out. I went to the back, got the next size up that I had, uh, I actually have uh, two, but this one was shorter, and the one I put on here, still too short so I don't have the right belt for this to work which is surprising because I thought I had all kinds of belts you know but uh, I just wanted to see if it would fit on here and if it fits on here fine you know what I'm saying this and this works the PTO but I don't have the right belt so uh, you know I think it would work and the deck actually looks okay uh, I think I'll Moving forward to try to come across another, you know, deck maybe or two, maybe a couple of belts I can get, you know, but uh, that's it. That's today's video. I spent all day reconditioning this piece of junk deck and actually with the welding and all that stuff and the paint covers up a lot. Still would like another deck, but you know, it is what it is, right? I got it from, from nothing. You know, this is all from nothing, you know, uh, so far I've spent exactly eight dollars and fifty cents on the sunrise red paint that is all i have in this mower oh and the 25 dollars battery so i'm in it for 35 dollars pretty good for 35 dollars huh uh you saw i picked up another uh push mower like i need another push mower i've got like 10 back there now i uh, actually added to the five that i had before i got like 15 push mowers i don't know what i'm gonna do with them uh plenty of content coming your way remember those stickers are available on my eBay store. Check the description and the links on the bottom of every video uh, in the description. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's uh, deck refurbish session. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Because the UPS guy screwed this up. I'm going to see you next time on Mowers and Blowers.